really find this satisfying? And if so, when did that start? Well, according to Google, ASMR started in 2009 and 2010, and they also call it the biggest YouTube trend that you have never heard of. I've definitely never heard of ASMR. And while the first known ASMR food video was then posted on January 21st, 2014, like what, eight years ago now. And yet people are still watching this and are still seemingly very interested in it. I think that people were probably thinking, well, we like mukbangs and we like ASMR, so let's fuse the two together and come up with content that suits our needs. I still wonder though, why do people enjoy food ASMR so much? I get why people enjoy ASMR, right? Like it's calming, it's a relaxing experience that can help to calm your nerves or anxiety. But food ASMR is just messy eating noises and some random person eating like very large amounts of food. My theory is that during the pandemic we were looking for a personal connection with something and most people connect well with food. And so when we came across food ASMR on YouTube and other platforms, we just really gelled with it. And that's what I like to call intimate eating. So there are a couple reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of food ASMR. My first problem with food ASMR is that the amount of food that gets consumed during these videos is just huge. Nobody really needs to eat that much and the food that they are usually eating isn't very healthy and I feel like for a video that is trying to be relaxing or improving mental health, it kind of lacks the improvement of health in your eating and diet habits. Another point, bad eating habits, being noisy and sloppy at the table isn't really fun for anybody. And as like, you know, making content too, I know my content isn't exactly high quality or anything, but it's just somebody eating in front of a camera and making sounds. Like, I don't know, I could probably do that right now if I wanted to. So how can you put a stop to food ASMR? Well, I don't know if we really can, seems like a pretty popular thing. My first point would be that go make your own food. Try doing some cooking at home. Just mess around in the kitchen a bit, see what you can come up with. As opposed to, you know, eating out and maybe also eating too much food. Cook what you need. Second point would be if you are seeking a personal connection, go see your friends, go see your family or a significant other and talk to them instead of listening to slurp sounds by yourself in your basement. That seems like a pretty good alternative to me. And also, you know, if you're feeling anxious or nervous, as I said, yeah, you could go talk to somebody, but also doing like some yoga or some meditation. That always helps me too, makes me feel better. But either way, let me know what you guys think. Is food ASMR really that bad? Do you guys like it? If so, let me know down in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.